What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome to Cousineer, which is a roguelike cooking game where we're going to go out, scavenge for ingredients in a roguelike world, defeat creatures, gain new weapons, etc., and then bring those ingredients back to help out the town and also run a restaurant. So I feel like it's going to be a little like Reseteer, which is really nice. Finally home. I'm going to kind of skip this. Mom and Pops is just kind of telling us that they're going to be leaving, so we're heading home. And this is like, I guess, the tutorial that it gives us because it just lets us go around and kill a few things. Use our abilities. But other than that, there's really nothing here to do because you don't get any items. So you can use this to kind of play around. Not a great tutorial, in my opinion. It doesn't really explain anything. It just kind of shows you how to use a few buttons, which you could do without any of that. So now we get home. Mom, Dad, I'm coming. There's a lot of buildup. I'm surprised if they're home. Look at that little boba tea. And so basically, Mom and Dad are not home. They left early, sold everything in the shop to go on their around the world trip just because it was so expensive. So we decided we're going to run the restaurant ourselves. And what a time it'll be wake up and if you want to see the quest you have to press J I kind of wish they put like a little small like main objective up here for you or at least for this beginning portion here we just gonna go talk to our girl uh, opening the restaurant back up and she's like all right here go go make your first recipe right oh no exit the restaurant to the town we'll make a recipe after I presume oh there's at the carpenter shop He's over here. What's up, brother? Big old wolf man. So we need to buy a table and chairs from him. One table, one chair. He gives them to us because Alder loves us. He's a kind big old wolf. We head back. We put down our first pieces of furniture. In the customization menu up in the left corner. And I'm going to plop them down right here. Bam. Beautiful. Save those changes. Now we're going to go cook our first dish. She gave us some flour. We're going to make some noodles. It's done. And then she goes and eats. Now this is just kind of showing us how the standard function will go. However, not bad for your first attempt. We can also use these foods to like upgrade our materials and everything. So now we can exit the town and go explore green ruins because we don't have any ingredients. So... Us being the famous adventurer we are, we're like, well, why don't we go scavenge our own? And this is where that roguelite aspect comes in. She gave us a nice little spatula. Oh, no, she gave us a rune that'll let us leave when we want to. So we don't necessarily have to complete the areas. All right. So now we've got a spatula. We also have throwing plates as our other spell there. And that's the spatula. So now we'll start getting we'll start getting items upon defeating creatures in the world. Also, not just creatures, but also uh, uh, farming for other little materials around here. They'll be glowing around the map. If they drop something, let's see. Thanks for the chicken leg. You can see the map in the upper right hand corner here too. Let's see what do we have down here. A little chili pepper boy. These guys. What's up, baby? Little Brussels sprouts. Oh, leafy greens. So there are stones around here, too, so we can get some wood. That's orc. Ouch. That's orc. Calcum. What is that guy? I got a bunch of stuff. Tasty spice and some cheese. He was loaded. What a thick guy he was. I don't know what that is. Ouch. I got stuck in the middle of them all. <laughs> Looks like we gotta stun him when we finish our combos too, so that's allowing us to not get hit by their attacks. Um, oh, my backpack's full. Uh, see, you can see we have 10 items here. 
I'm gonna drop a rice and grab these exotic fruits. That's interesting. So you can see that right there is glowing. So if I came over, ouch, that triggered a trap over there, I see. You can see we can get some wood here. I'm gonna grab wood because I feel like wood is probably gonna be beneficial to us. So if I drop, say, maybe the tasty spice. I mean, I feel, oh, you know, how about the cheese? I feel like they're gonna be useful, but maybe like more later. Like I guarantee there's gonna be some like beginner quest or something that's like, go get wood, go get stone, because you know, it's a beginner quest. Also, the traps work against the enemies, too, so you can use that to your advantage. Is that flour? I feel like I'm going to need noodles, so why don't I get rid of... I'll get rid of the tasty spice. I I'm trying to stay with, like, some basic ingredients here. Trying to think of what's going to be beneficial for early game progress. I feel like those other things are probably, like, some of the rarer, like, more uncommon creatures in the game. You know what I mean? wonder if I can get over these ledges. I can. Oh, that's good. I love games like that. Like, if you're going to put the ledges in, allow me to be able to circumvent them as well with a good gameplay. Look, I see a lot of things over here glowing. Got some wood there. We got some stone over here. You can see here, if we press L, we can leave at any time. And we can go down to the next floor right here as well. I think my plan is just going to be to farm up... I feel like she's a little loud for me. That's better. I'm just gonna top up on the raw materials here that are just super abundant right now, like the rocks, the wood. And that's what I mean. I feel like I just need to get like a max stack of these because I'm gonna need them. I'm probably gonna need like wood and such to craft more items. I don't know if I have to use money for items or if that carpenter will want raw materials in order to create stuff for me. Achievement unlocked. Nice. Don't know what achievement we got, but maybe breaking things. Certain amount of things broken. Would make a lot of sense. Okay, and now I'm capped out on wood and stone. I can't pick them up anymore. 30 is a Cap. Okay. So then we leave. Okay, so it's a channel spell, which makes sense. So you can't just like super abort if, if things get sticky. Dungeon complete. Very well. 46 enemies defeated. Neat. So it seems like it's going to be one of those. We got to prioritize what I want to go in for, which is fun. I actually kind of enjoy those kind of actions there. Oh, what's up? Who are you? A Claire? I like how everyone has like food names. Living in this town can be a little boring, but my husband's loyal to Pale and I. A Claire's dessert party? No brave venture around to help me. What can I do? Lucky stars. I need to get hardwood so I can build new furniture. I'll give you a recipe for caramel cake. So it looks like, yeah, helping the citizens out will give us some um, good recipes here. All right. So if I. Do I have hardwood or do I just have wood? I just have wood. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, that's just wood. New furniture at Alders. I heard you recently visited. There's some really useful materials there, so I made some more. So I made some more fine furniture for you. If you got some time, come by the shop. Is he available now? He looks like he's probably asleep, which is fine. Chantelleray. It's like the name Chantarella Mushrooms, right? See how many of these we can catch and get notice of. I'm assuming we just go op open the restaurant. Probably go to sleep. Not open at nighttime, huh? This is the part I'm really excited for here. And this is why I say it kind of reminds me of Reseteer. Because in Reseteer, it's a really old game, but a really fun game. Definitely go check it out. But you would leave, go to the dungeon, gather materials, come back and sell those things. Let's open the restaurant. So, okay, I could put all the... Okay, I could put food in here. Cool. It looks like I can't make what she wants, so she's leaving. Goodbye. See you later. Serve a customer. Can someone come in that wants a recipe that I can make? 
Okay, again, can you make something I know? Can you ask for the things I know how to make? Instead of coming in and getting all mad and chalky with me here. Reputation levels one. Anything else in the journal? Oh, we can see this. We got some side quests. Meeting the townspeople. Okay. The bunny girl seems to be satisfied. She'll sit. What do you want? A boiled egg. Very well. I can make that. It's not necessarily a boiled egg. This is an. This is a soft boiled egg. I like how she gets it herself too. And now, obviously, there is no table. Quest updated. Closed the restaurant. Fine. So this is probably just a small tutorial to teach us how the restaurant works. Hey, eighteen dollars. So this is going to be like our form of cash here. One star, two star, three star, and four star dishes. Neat. Okay. Congratulations on your first day. Oh, <laughs> Biscotti's just congratulating us for our first day. Also, Biscotti's, you know, delicious with coffee. Townsfolk and shopkeepers, check their hours. They have their own lives too, duly noted. Looks like Mr. Life is over here. Oh, he's down here. Hey, brother. Seems like he's got a favor. Look a little stressed. I am. Need wood to finish it? I can help you with wood. 10 wood. Boop. That's everything I need. Before I forget, here's the omelet recipe. That looks really good. Nice chive, a little ketchup. I'm not a big ketchup fan on, on eggs, but if they're dry, then yeah, I'm going to put ketchup on them. They're nice moist eggs. No ketchup needed. The smithy, you've got it. Craft some innovative adventuring tools. Okay, so she seems to have gadgets for us. It's the smithy. Okay, so we can buy new weapons here. 35 attack, deal additional 50% damage to any target that is shocked, does not stack. Okay. And we can upgrade. So for a thousand schmeckles, I could upgrade our spatula to have 11 damage. And it looks like you need materials and cash. Okay. That's really cool. I enjoy that a lot. Let's go talk to the other townspeople. Who's this? The tailor? Upgrade. He can... Um, I'm going to upgrade the backpack. Increase inventory space? Yeah, that's going to be massive. What do you have? Decorations. Okay, so we can make our restaurant really nice looking. I enjoy that quite a bit. Who are you? The brewery? Got spices for me. What do you got? So you can do... Ah, so we can enhance equipment here. So right now it applies flame. So like the secondary salt, if I had some more money, it looks like... Oh, add dish to increase mod chances. Okay, so we could have dishes that'll affect the mods, and then if we throw them in here, it'll tell us which mods we could potentially have. So it'll be slightly RNG. What's this? Is it just a doggo? Okay, that's the dog. Pet the dog. It's very happy. My hands are a little slimy. Got some twins over here. They have the boba teas. Okay. They've got the bobas. Bubble tea shop. Okay. Are they this they must be the same. Bye. Okay, so heals three hundred and or three thirty-five HP instantly. I'll I'll buy one. And you can upgrade and unlock new ones with completed dishes. So we'd have to make like three noodles, three bread, three steamed rice, and some sweet sap. Okay. Good to know. I don't think we have anything else. Fur new furniture. Is he there yet? He's not. What's his shop hours? Check the calendar. 9 to 12 closed on Umami. Where's today's Umami? So we can't do anything here today. So he's useless to us. Why don't we go deposit our items? Because I'm assuming my inventory is... Yeah, 4 out of 15. So I need to get rid of these items if I want to leave town. There's a chest in here. So here we could put... I don't understand why we need, like, separate storage. Like, just let me have one storage so I can access it from the same place. You know what I mean? Seems a little... Not thoughtless, but just, like, extra steps for some not... 
like non-minimal reason unless like there's a, a cap on your storage all right let's go back and explore grab some more materials we need some hardwood so probably get that from floor two so why don't we just do like a blitz into floor two here Like, I'm not sure what kind of materials are going to be there, so let's see. Oh, wow, there's a lot of these guys out here. Well, we're going to stock up on flour, I suppose. Uh, oh, oh, that one's alive. Hard to tell when they're alive or dead when they do that animation sometimes. Not so fearless when you're all your friends are dead, huh? The so stacks of 30, right? <laughs> get some normal wood there. Got to figure out how to get the hardwoods. I'm assuming it's maybe just a item in the next tiered zone. Ouch, I got stuck on them. Not the way to go, okay. Maybe go to the right here. Oops, crates were in my way. Can fall off the map. What are you, a boar? What's up, brother? Brother boar? Oh, you got some. You are thick, baby. Some fatty meat. Yeah, that'll come in handy. Do we learn recipes from finding materials? I wonder. Chicken's afraid for its life. Just let it be. Again, just trying to move on. Okay, here we go. Next level. I'm curious to how these dungeons are going to work, you know? I probably do want some of these chili boys. They don't seem to be as common as some of the other ones. Ouch. Little rice boys over here or something. Oh, 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 there's a lot behind me there. Did I just deflect those projectiles? I'm getting messed up over here. There's a lot of enemies up there. Drinking my bubble tea. Oh, there's a tree over there. I didn't even notice that idiot. Uh, I gotta get rid of these this, these guys over here. Oh, I didn't see that little guy. And I gotta get used to all the all the flavor of life out here in the world. I love it. They just look like plants because they are plants. So I'm like, oh, they're fine. That thing's not gonna hurt me. Sure is. What is this? Sweet sap acquired. I don't remember what I needed that for, but I remember needing sweet sap. Oh, it was to upgrade one of the bubble teas if I wanted to. Okay. 15 out of 15 slots already. Bag space is going to be crucial for upgrades, it seems. It's going to be massive. I don't oh, are they getting, like, attack up? Are they getting... Are they going berserk mode? Are the rice part of the berserker squad here? He charging? He's charging. I think they're invulnerable in there. I don't think I'm hurting them right now. Definitely need a better weapon here, too. Curious to see. So, like, is it just roguelike because of the world? and how it generates or am I gonna like find new weapons and upgrades like am I only out here for food and that's all I can get here I have to bring in my own stuff if that's the case that's fine I just want to know
Okay, I am full on rice, so I don't really need to fight those guys now. Mushrooms attainable? Nope. Alright, looks like I need to go. Which way do I need to go here? Left. Yeah. I'd have 4 HP if I didn't drink that bubble tea, just FYI. Beating up that poor fatty in the corner. Okay, there are crits. We definitely just hit the crit there. I love how the chickens like run away after you kill one of them. <laughs> They're so full of themselves up until the fight starts. This is super cute. If you guys are liking Cousin Air, make sure you hit that like button down below to really let me know. A lot of what you're all interested in, making sure we're playing like-minded games here on the channel for everybody. I am gonna allow this to just kind of... Oh! I didn't see him charging way down there. The cooldowns are very long too, so it's definitely something to be top of mind of. It looks like that's a different beat over there. Maybe I get rid of the rocks this... You know, I'll get rid of the rocks, because we can farm rocks, it seems, quite easily. Same with the flowers and stuff, too, but, you know, let's be mindful here. I'll, I'll also dump this for now. What was that I just picked up, too? I don't know if this pauses. It does not. So, what was that? That was tough meat. Okay. Okay. Tough meat. Noted. I haven't found hardwood yet, though. It's just wood. Can't hurt those trees. Oh, he was, uh, he was dead. Oh, wow. Two full stacks of rice. Rice stacks into 20, it seems. So it looks like every item may have a different stack quantity. And that's kind of done over here, too. Might as well get some free meat. Is there something down here? It seems like... You think that's a place for me to go? That or it's just slightly too far with the dashes I have available. It's one or the other. No or not yet. <laughs> Don't need eggs any longer. I might just get out of here. Hardwood might just be a, a much later thing. Like maybe even the next floor down. Yeah, let's head out. Looks like we got a visitor, Biscotti, trying to wrap my head around everything. If you add a few more menu items and a couple more tables, you think it'll be a real success. I only did it because I was ashamed to close down. Serving the old customers is enough. Are the owners around? The Palmas? A Barico? I don't know what that's a reference to. Uh, this is where I get told I need to pay taxes. You're from the tax office. I have massive debt. Yep, of course we do. Kindly pay $2,000 or the premises will be repossessed and sold to the highest bidder. Good day. All right. Well, we got probably some sort of time limit on that. Anything in the quest log for that? Booming business. So pay the tax man 2000 coins. Doesn't seem like there's a time limit there. I'll get some gloves out of it too. Nice. So I want to head to town real quick. Before we call it a day here, why don't we go to Alderman, see what we can get from the shop, and then we'll go back and just run the restaurant for a bit. So he can upgrade our shop as well to have two, two cooking stations and three uh, service areas. Okay. Ah, 
Yep. Yep, we need wood and stone to buy things, and like you eat some orichalcum on some beagle stuff, it seems. I don't have any orichalcum, but, well, I do, just not a lot. So why don't we do like a beginner's pot? Oh man, it's pretty expensive. Oh, the, but these are nice and cheap. So let's grab a few chairs. Cool. I probably just used all my money or a good portion of it, but I used up all the wood I had. I'm gonna go put my wood away. And this is why I think it's silly how I have to come back here to put my storage in. Got to hit a loading screen just to go put my stuff away. That's not in the front of the house. Hit another loading screen to come back. Like, it's silly. Like, it seems so unnecessary. But let's open our restaurant for the day. We're open. That was really cute. What are you... Oh my god, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. Shut it down. Shut it down. I didn't put my tables down. Reputation's level two, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Customization, tables. You think they'll sit... Hold on. I wonder if they'll sit at, like, different tables together. You know what I mean? So, like... Wait, why does that say that? Oh, maybe these are just one people tables? Yeah, these must just be for one people. Okay. Well then, for aesthetic's sake, why don't we just do this? Cool. Just for the aesthetic. Save the changes. Now we'll open up shop. So nice looking. Some good art in here. Oh, where did she just come from? She was quick. Tasty soup. Made with tasty spice. Okay. I can't see anything in here. So the timer does go down, so it seems like it's to my benefit to have people sitting as close to this table as possible. Steamed leafy greens. It seems like it'd also be to my benefit if I could be able to deliver them for the customer. I can. Oh, that was expensive. Boiled pork. That was 96 plus a tip there. Another boiled pork for the lady over here. 24 schmeckles for the boiled pork. Okay. I'll let them just get what they want so I can continue on here. Boiled egg. Yeah, like, it just seems odd. Like, can't I, like... I, I wish I could be like... Hey, I want to deliver these. Because now that he's got up, I had to wait for him to go sit back down in order to deliver it. You know what I mean? 78 schmeckles for that. Spicy soup. Like how it's just a chili for the recipe. No other soup items, just chili. Go sit down. Haven't had anyone ask for anything we can't make just yet. Boiled pork. Maybe this will be a good day for cash. But like I said, brothers and sisters, make sure you're hitting that like button down below if you're loving Kuzanir and if you want to see more. Double check to make sure you're subscribed as well so you can always be back here for more of that sweet shabby indie content. Looks like we got a lunch rush coming. The child's in here. You want a boiled egg? Boiled pork? Good taste, sir. Oh, the kid moves fast. I should just let him take that himself. Noodles. Yep, here you go. And then spicy soup to follow. Kid pays. Man, the kid's got some cash money. Here, you go sit down. They're like, look at this. Like, I, I'm gonna go hit the caramel. No tables. Very, t very close. The kid moves fast. I don't know what anybody wants yet. Boiled pork. Boiled pork is nice and expensive. I'm here for that. 
Sorry, we're low on tables here. Spicy soup. Also, I'm not sure how I feel about it just giving me that only recipe. Like, I feel like I need to, like if you're gonna have me part managing, allow me to manage it in the sense that I have to find the recipe and click it and be able to like sh sort through my menus a bit. But it might be become a bit inundating when we have so many different items on the menu, huh? But it just seems like very handle, like super simple. Like it doesn't seem like I need to be here because they can do everything themselves. In fact, me trying to do stuff does not seem to help much because then they have to sit back down anyways. Like, hold on, like, wait. Okay, I got it. I had to like, I had to like preemptively click here. Let's get the noodles cooking. And then, let's see, what do you want, what do you want, what do you want, what do you want? Noodles, Hit, get those going, we'll check you out, we'll check you out, make some spicy soup. Caramel, that's coming from the sap, and it's only 36, so that's not as expensive, the tasty whatever was more expensive, which was really nice. Steamed leafy greens. Oh, here I can see the recipes while I'm kind of waiting. So like steamed leafy greens, I wish I could sort them too, but these are all one stars. Boiled beef is 54, boiled pork. So like the pork seems to be really nice for us. Boiled pork, put that up there. Check all these people out. Get what this guy wants, spicy soup. Cool, I wanna look at the recipes again. So boiled pork, eggs, steamed rice is worth not much. Caramel, not much, the spicy soup. And then the tasty soup, which is using that tasty spice is 96, okay. I wonder if I just make a tasty soup. And just have it sitting on the counter like does that influence someone to buy it am i gonna get lucky maybe but it's worth a shot the kids are all here steamed chicken 24. i like how it's a whole chicken but my the picture of my chickens just a, a drum Check the kid out. Noodles, yeah, it doesn't really seem to have like a enticing effect to have him sit up here, which is unfortunate. Boiled pork. Wait to see if we got a dinner rush that'll come through. So we've seen a lunch rush. We didn't see like a breakfast run rush. We have a lunch rush for sure. Boiled pork again some good money there I love the aesthetic of the boiled pork too it actually like all of these look very nice I'm quite impressed with the the sprites of everything they're really cute really cute they look good I do feel immersed when I look at these like the soft boiled egg looks awesome let the kid go get him get it himself he's fast Kids move fast. You want some pork, buddy? Yeah, you do. Kids need meat to grow. Let's go. So I don't know what to do with the tr exotic fruits, it seems. But that's the only item here that I can't cook with. What would you like, miss? Caramel? 78 schmeckles. I'll just put this in my pocket. Oh, I can't. Boiled beef. 54 schmeckles for that. Felt like that was harder to get than all the pork, but there might. I'm guessing there's multiple facets for how to use these ingredients. So as we find some like two star and three star and four star recipes, the the range of use will definitely grow. All right, we're getting close to six o'clock, so maybe the dinner rush will happen here. 
last bit of caramel too, I believe. Yeah, here's the dinner. Oh, I have the pictures here. I'm dumb. So, probably the breakfast rush. They ordered the tasty soup. That was lucky for me. I appreciate that. That cleared up a space so I could have more things up here now. Can I just sit in here? Yeah, I can just sit in here. I can just sit here and wait. <laughs> and get and then just queue up the steamed chicken. Oops, I missed. Hit it too fast. Boiled pork. This is where the queues are going to get better. Four tables is probably manageable, but otherwise it's not so much. Good timing to sit down. People are getting cranky. Steamed rice. All right, you cheapo. The soldier wanted the steamed rice. Some more pork. What would you like down there? Rice. Check these guys out. Over 2,000 in cash. Ooh, what is that? Whatever that dish is looks really good. We don't have it though, sorry. See you later. Get out of here. I don't know why you're sitting here like I'm about to magically learn how to make this dish. We'll go through the dinner rush and then we'll call it call it quits there. So we'll get two more people here. A lot of steamed rice coming up. We did get a bunch of flour though. Spicy soup as well. Yeah, I definitely think what I want to do is increase the restaurant a bit. So I want to make sure I grab like maybe two stacks of wood next time I go out. Spicy soup. I'll get it for you. Go, just go sit down, please. You're hurting my soul. See you, old timer. Sit here and wait for it. Click the bubble. All right. I'm going to shut the restaurant down so this person can finish their rice. Closed. So adorable. All right. Let's check our stats for the day. So we served 50 dishes. Made one bad dish, maybe. Maybe that was the tasty soup I made out of order. Perhaps. I'm not sure. Great success, though. Tips of 221 schmeckles to 200 or sorry, 2,271 reputation earned. We are now reputation three. You can see biggest earner here, boiled pork. So definitely want to be getting pork while I'm out there, 100%. And I'm guessing that if the food is in here, I will, uh, that's my ingredients for the day, right? That's my thought there. But all right, brothers, sisters, we're going to hit the bed, so until next time, stay shabby.